Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry. Thank you for choosing to watch my video today. Um, there wasn't a video last week because we had an impromptu trip away to Edinburgh. We managed, well, we were had the opportunity to stay in an apartment that belongs to a company I used to work for. Um, and it worked out as something like £25 a night, which is crazy. Um, beautiful in a little place called Simpson Lone in Edinburgh. And it's lovely overlooking the meadows, big park, if you know it. Yeah, and, and it was it was lovely. And um, we come home a little bit early because it was freezing and the drive home wasn't that great. And then it's just snowing today and rain and wind. So I had a lovely time, lovely break. And Steve got to see his dad and um, and now we're back. And I've done a reasonable shop. I've got this Tesco shop. And then at the end, I'm going to tag on a little video of a little delivery I had from a place called Starry Mart not sponsored or affiliated in any way. I just found them online. I was looking for a couple of ingredients and this place um, was is brilliant. Um, Asian, I don't know what the correct term would be now, but Chinese, Japanese, Korean, etc. And um, yeah, it was a really good price, really quick delivery. And so I'll just tag it on the end to show you because I was really impressed and I'll leave the details below. It's called Starry Mart. This is my Tesco shop. This was £102.52p. Um, got quite a few things. We've got to do, do this, tag the video on, and then I'll show you my um, meal plan for the week. Anyway, so we've got the kids off, still half term. So we've got a few extra things and a few things that I just fancied. I was hungry, shouldn't go shopping hungry. But anyway, so we've got milk because we didn't get a milk delivery this week from the um, milkman because we were away. So just a whole milk and a semi skimmed. Some yogurt um, for granola. Um, I'm just going to try and eat breakfast. I say this all the time. I know I'm really rubbish, but I'm going to really try, really try um, because it stops me from snacking and then eating something daft or then being so hungry at meal times that I have a huge meal or I'll eat something extra afterwards and I'm not full or um, satisfied. So I'm going to try. Cheddar cheese. I don't like feta. So I'm going, I want to do some salads, like some salad bowls and this is crumbly. So I use this instead. Um, mature cheddar for some um, cheese and onion pasties. I'm going to make the children for lunch. Garlic and herb Philadelphia and a regular Philadelphia. They were reduced to two pounds and it's the big one and they've got lovely dates on them. Some chocolate mousses. I was looking for, um, if you have, if you shop in Tesco's, you'll, then they do the club card deals and as they do as well, they do roll back. Where um, the, so the aero mousses and those types of things, for four of them, they're reduced to a pound. The offer is now one pound 50. I was like, what? And it's basically the same thing as this, isn't it? So these are still £1.20, but on offer, they were one fifty for four. It's, prices are going up, kids. So it's just, I noticed it today. I really noticed it because I haven't done this for such a, for quite a while. I'd done a proper shop in the shops and um, yeah, just, it looked, it was noticeably more expensive. Um, so bacon for breakfast sandwiches um, for the children and Steve. Some um, of this Jackson's bread. I've noticed that the price of the supermarket's own breads have gone up, and there's not that much difference between those and the branded ones. And I like the Jackson's of Yorkshire bread, so got the this one in the white. And then this Allenson's. Is this Allenson's? Yes, Allenson's uh, Champion Wholemeal. Um, Aries has decided she doesn't like seeded bread, so we've got white for Aries. Um, some Sheldon's uh, oven bottom muffins for. Uh, breakfast sandwiches. I really like these as breakfast sandwiches. Some British baby potatoes for roasted veg and um, roast potato salad, like a salad I'm going to have when I make a little dinner for the children. And some Maris Piper potatoes. We've got some peppers um, for salads and for roasting. Um, a butternut squash. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet, but I think I'm just going to roast it with maybe some cumin seeds. And a couple of spices and either turn it into a spiced salad or um, just for lunch with um, a little pasta or something like that. Some rocket salads, some aubergines for a aubergine curry I'm going to make. I was gifted a gorgeous new cookbook by Anna Jones and there's a brilliant recipe in it. The cookbook is brilliant. I'm going to link that below as well. It's all, you learn the loads about the food. There's some brilliant recipes in it. I think it's called One, pa one, one Pot, One Pan, One Planet, I think. Um, and it was a gift. And 
it's got like a bunch of recipes that are pan recipes, one pot recipes. And then it's got some um, 10 things you can do with potatoes, 10 things you can do with tomatoes, 10 things you can do with beans and um, ideas for not wasting them. And then how not to waste food and, and freeze milk in cubes and use them for smoothies and loads of really good hints and tips. It's a lovely and it's a beautiful book as well. So I'll link it below. Anyway, enough about my new book. Some limes for cooking and for some gin and tonic. A red cabbage for salads. Uh, etc. Um, a cauliflower, haven't decided about this one yet. And in that book, there's a recipe for um, aloo gobi cottage pie. Oh, it looks delicious. My tummy rumbled when I saw it. So I'm either going to do that or I'm going to make some like some sticky, sticky cauliflower, like instead of sticky ribs or something, I do it with cauliflower. And um, some romaine hearts, baby spinach, and some curly kale both for recipes that I've seen and for in salads, etc. Oh, the curly kale is going to go with a crispy butter bean recipe. That's what that's for. Radishes for salads. I really want salads, can you tell? <laughs> Pak choy. Um, uh, just for on, on the side. And little jam lettuce. Some corn on the cobs. I'm going to do a, like a Tex-Mex type salad. So I've got some avocado over here as well. So I'll just toast those up with a little bit of chilli and then shave off the the um, kernels, some um, grapes for Isaac and Eris to munch on with the lunches, some chilies, cucumber and spring onions, and there's my avocados, little apples for the children, big apples for Steve, and some butterhead salad, and actually I might make some apple pie porridge, so I'll use some of that as well, and then I've got some bananas and some tomatoes down here to go with my butter beans, which I'm going to make crispy butter bean um tray bake and we've also got some decaffeinated coffee just if Steve fancies a coffee late at night Eris running away if you can hear the stomping um just caffeinated and the uh law coffee was on special offer this one was three pounds and the big one was 450 but <laughs> it's instant coffee and it was three pounds it's still expensive but hey uh, red peppers I always buy this brand I think it might be Polish or something Eastern European and it's only one pound something, one twenty or one forty, um, and it's and it's much cheaper than than the branded ones, and it's exactly the same. Some rice wine vinegar, some sushi rice, some wasabi, and some nori. Isaac was asking about sushi, so we're going to make some sushi while we're off and have that for tea together. Um, some soup pasta for a recipe that I've seen that I'm going to change slightly. Some walnuts or something I can't remember what it was for but there's some walnuts some pine nuts because I love pine nuts on a salad and I know I said this a couple of weeks ago but £3.60 for this little bag but is this three no this is the big bag this was £5 for 150 grams and the 100 gram bag was £3.60 it's, it's crazy but so I got the big one because it worked out cheaper um some fruit and nut granola Tesco's um this is one pound seventy for a kilogram and the branded ones were the cheapest one on offer was something like three pounds for 500 grams or 750 so that was much cheaper and i should make my own but i burn it every single time i'm rubbish at granola anyone's got any good granola recipes link it down below for me in the comments i'd love it because i'm useless at making granola um it's always burnt um balsamic vinegar and caramelized onion um sensations crisps a little treat for steve and i we'll eat those <laughs> check them with the children sometimes i don't because i think they get all the treats so now and again i want something some mini rolls there you go see more treats for the kids oh and there's another one um mini egg nest cakes they're two pound fifty for four it's just I, i'm sure when my eldest was little we, i'd buy four for a pound or something like that Jamaica ginger cake. I love this stuff. I haven't had it in years and I just spotted it. And then I picked it up off the shelf and then I saw the lady behind me move over and pick it up as well. So, yes, Jamaican ginger cake. Some crisps. Has anybody seen any hula hoops in the shops? Because if you have, let me know. Because I can't find them and they're Eris' favourite. It There's a hula hoop shortage. I don't know why. So we've got frazzles, some wheat crunchies and some oysters. And then we've got a bag of giant buttons. And a bag of um, little whispers. And I like these, like the big sherry bags. Because I just take a couple out and put them in a bowl for them. 
some two little boxes of mini eggs as a treat for them and then one of these each these little um lindor um not chocolate bars i just spotted them eris has decided she likes a chocolate bar she's grown up so um yeah got one those is a treat and then these look nice don't they after eight mini eggs i love an after eight and i thought well no easter's coming and all that um, and then there's only a few in there. I think there's about eight in there. And they're then tiny, teeny little ones. So and this one for us all. We might have a movie night or oh, movie afternoon at the weekend. Some um, milk and white Peter Rabbit chocolate. Some apple juice. Isaac asked for some apple juice. And some of um, tonic water. The, um, what is it? Pomelo and pink pepper from London Essence, I really like that one. And this was um, new, uh, limited edition tonic water, fever tree, passion fruit and lime. So that would be quite nice. And then a couple of these low calorie, low alcohol beers for Steve. Um, they, they had something like 0.1% sugars of carbs, sugar and only 53 calories. So, and they're 0.5% um, alcohol and that normally tastes a bit better than the 0% one. So I thought we could try that one, it's just lagers. And then I'm going to colour my hair. <laughs> so I just thought, I saw somebody, did I see some? I might have seen someone on the telly. We've been watching Supernatural. <gasps> Never seen it before. And there's 15 episodes, 15 seasons. So I'm going to be there a while. And I saw someone with red hair and I thought, oh, I want red hair again. I had it years ago. I haven't had it for about six years. So um, I thought I'll have red hair for a little while. And some um, dry shampoo. And this is only £3, this one. It's cheaper than the whatever the leading brand is, I can't remember what it's called, and um, Batista, that one, and I quite like this, it doesn't make my hair feel so claggy after it's been in a while, so there we go, that's our £152, no, that wasn't that much, £102 at 52p, so there we go, and um, and I've got a full um, menu plan for it all, as usual, and I'm going to try, I'm really bad at eating lunches, so that I feel like I've got a bit more food, fresh food, I'm going to make salads for lunches. I'm going to do some meal prep. I like prep some salads for a couple of days. So I eat them. And um, yeah, there we go. That is our uh, shopping for this week. And the next little clip you see will be my Starry Mart delivery. And then I'll show you our meal plan for the week. Here is my little delivery that I was waiting for. So I thought I'd pop it onto the end of the video. Um well, before the um, meal plan, <laughs> but this is, um, it came. So I ordered it on Wednesday and it arrived today, which is Friday, which I think is excellent. It, I, I, it was economy delivery that I paid for. It was three ninety nine delivery. It's from a little company called Starry Mart. I'll leave a link below. So what I wanted was this to make a curry recipe that I've seen um, on um, Young Man Cooking. And I couldn't find it in the supermarkets. And it was £8.50 or something on Amazon. I was like, what? So I had just did a Google and it was £2.39 or something like that. That this um, little, uh, I suppose, a, is, it, is it Asian supermarket or Southeast Asian supermarket? But they do. But it was £2.39 at this supermarket that I found online, Starry Mart. And all in all... I paid fifteen ninety nine for all of it, rather than eight pounds something just for that one paste. So I thought, oh well, I'll get the couple of things that I've been after while I'm here. So I've got some dumpling flour because I want to try and make dumplings. <laughs> I don't know how that'll go, and some dumpling sauce, and also um, some black rice vinegar. I like this for dipping when we make spring rolls. A couple of these because I can't get these in the um, supermarket. This, Jap this Japanese curry sauce is amazing. And then because I bought two Lee Gum Ghee items, the dumpling sauce and the chuhu paste, I got this little sauce clip. Oh, there's my receipt. How much did I spend? No, oh, it doesn't have the prices on. Never mind. Um, I think it was $15.99. This little selection of um, cookie sauces to try, which I thought was lovely. And a little recipe book. So it's really nice. What have we got in there? Some sweet soy sauce, chili garlic sauce, chu chow chili oil, um, yellow bean sauce. What's that? Hoisin. Um, oyster sauce. Oh, I won't use that, but still might. Yeah, that was free. 
so there we go i just thought that was really lovely um it was a rip off amazon to be quite honest so for an extra what six pounds i got another um five items rather than just the sauce for eight pounds something so definitely definitely be using them again and they're supporting an independent business as well isn't it and here's a meal plan for this week starting thursday which is the day i've been to do the shopping and we are having well the children are going to have chick kievs and mash and then i think i'm going to do a red lentil dal for Steve and i um on thursday night and Friday, we're going to have sushi. Isaac's been asking for sushi, so I'm gonna we're gonna make some sushi together, and I'm also gonna make some noodle soup in case they don't like the sushi. And then on Saturday, we're going to all have like flatbreads, like a messe, with some crispy butter beans and kale cooked with some tomatoes, some roast peppers, and I might do the kids a little bit of chicken, and we'll have some cheese out and some flatbreads and yogurt, etc. And then on Sunday, I'm going to do sausages and roast veg for the children. And Steve and I are going to have roast veg salads. And then on Monday, we're going to have falafel salad bowls. I've got some spinach that I've bought for the dal. So I'm going to use that up to make spinach and garlic falafels. And I'm going to do fish and chips for the kids. Just something really easy. Thursday back at school. The falafels I can make earlier in the day when they're at school. And then um, just make it up as a salad. So it'll be really easy. And they just go in the air fryer. Tuesday, we're going to have an aloo gobi cottage pie, which is from the new um, Anna Jones book that I got. It looks really delicious. And then Wednesday, another new recipe, we're going to have aubergine and tamarind curry. So, but I will have something on standby for the children if they don't like those. But they they will eat the mashed potato off the top of this and they'll eat a little of the, the filling. And they'll definitely eat the rice from this one. And I'll give them a salad on the side and they have lunches at school anyway, so... They'll have had a, a filling lunch. So it's just, they, they have two dinners, basically. <laughs> so there we go. There is my uh, meal plan for this week. Hopefully we'll be able to stick to it. And uh, yeah, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's what we've bought this week. That's what we're going to eat this week. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.